we'll have a brief discussion here about lease liabilities. Lease liabilities can occur, um, and it depends on whether a lease that a company has signed is considered to be a finance or an operating lease. Um, for an operating lease, it's simply treated as an operating expense. So as the lease payment is made, um, just a single expense amount is determined and recorded just as a normal operating expense. However, if it's considered a finance lease, um, essentially the company gets the right of use um, and records an asset, and that asset is capitalized or recorded as an asset of the company, just like it would for other fixed assets that it purchases. And then um, the interest expense is determined in a fashion similar to other long-term liabilities. For example, assume that ABC decides to lease new equipment. Um, it is a, considered to be a finance lease. The lease term is four years. The economic life is estimated to be five years. Um, the present value of the future lease payments is considered to or calculated to be $190,000. Um, because it is considered to be a right of use asset, um, the company would record the asset as an asset, debiting it for $190,000, and it would record the long-term liability of $190,000. It's considered to be long-term because the life is five years. In the balance sheet, the asset is reported as an asset on the balance sheet along with other assets and the liability is reported on the balance sheet as a liability. Any amount of the lease that is paid within the next year is recorded as current, and any remainder of that liability is reported as long-term. 